Hello and welcome to a new modern video. Wow, today we are going to play the most combo -y combo deck in the format. So I've been complaining a lot, and people have been complaining a lot that the format is really like mid rangey, creature based. You have like your amulets and your tron as big mana decks, but there are no real, um, how to put this, uh, stack decks like a Storm. So we are playing Twiddle Storm. Well, Twiddle with only one Twiddle in the deck. So this is a deck that tries to utilize Lotus Field with cards like Hidden Strings and Visit of Tumbling Sands. So it's basically the same one as the well, the one the one in Pioneer. But we have Underworld Bridge and Dreams Grip as wonderful cards. So this card is just awesome, right? Like one mana and tap Lotus Field. Underworld Bridge banned in Pioneer because of Lotus Field. Then consider and preordain to find our stuff, and then Lightning Bolt and Tassas Oracle as both. Well, Lightning Bolt is interaction, but both of them can be game winning cards. And the card that has made this deck tick is the One Ring. Uh, that, that's the idea, right? Like, you can even like untap the One Ring, draw extra cards, and keep going from there. Uh, Sylvan's Crying to search for our Lotus Field, and Gwis. So basically, this will allow us to play anything. In our grave, in our uh, blah, 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 cyborg. <laughs> so, what are we going to search for? Well, mainly probably Underworld Bridge and Grapeshot, but there's also like Aeve, Progenitor Ooze. This is going to be mainly for when we are we don't have access to our graveyard because it comes a point where Underworld Bridge is like basically deterministic, right? But if you don't have a graveyard, well, let's just play this guy and make a bunch of Oozes. And then like Thomas Cower to fill our graveyard and go infinite because this mills you for five and you just need one mana and three cards to escape it right so you generate extra cards in your graveyard and with those extra cards you just play whatever and tupper you want so it's infinite you you mill your whole deck and find the oracle and so yeah uh, I've never played this and I haven't played the storm since Hitassian Pro so I hope you enjoy this one and it's a very fun ride okay uh so this seems like a wonderful hand yeah so we keep i mean we have the field we have two lands for the field we have even a lightning we even have a lightning ball to stop the early plays from our opponent so i cannot ask for much more this is better i think prismatic mm -hmm. vista Snowcoat? Wow, wow. What is this? Is this Elliot? Maybe Elliot. Uh, we may be able to win on game. So the problem with Vizier, like this is awesome, but this doesn't really combo with Underworld Bridge, right? Because you, once you cycle, you cannot really play it back from your graveyard. So we're missing just some card draw and some extra way to generate mana that goes into our graveyard uh, here I'm going to play the Sylvan Scrying just to get like more cards in our graveyard probably should have done it with the Polluted Delta even uh, this cycles that's interesting mm. I want to get Tolaria West. I think this is just a way of searching for Lotus Field. I could take Otawara. Our opponent has missed a land drop. Yeah, let's take Otawara. I think Otawara is going to be fine. I'm not very sure about what we are facing here. Could be Enchantress. In that case, Otawara or Boseyu are both gonna be awesome. Yeah, seems seems like Enchantress. So I think we are just like killing that thing. Okay, okay. The One Ring. We can go Lotus Field, float two mana, cycle plus one mana, cycle plus one mana. So we will have enough for the One Ring and even the Lightning Bolt. So I think that's worth it. Let's play Lotus Field. Let's cycle this and tap. Uh, 
on cycle again. I don't know why I'm doing this in response to everything. I just want to go fast. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. Draw. Draw. And draw. Suck and suck. So now we just play the one ring, I guess. Okay. Okay, that was is going to be fine. We could have won like Kiljan Santum Weaver. Um that maybe was better. Because without the Santum Weaver they are not going to have much mana. Sterling Grove. All enchantments half a shroud. Okay. And you can do a a tutor a, a top deck tutor with it. Okay, okay, uh, that was a good turn. But we are untapping with a one ring and a lot of field on play, so I guess that's good for us. Mm -hmm. mm, I imagine, like, always start with the Vizier since it's like free and you cannot really make any choices with it. So we just go for the extra mana here. Whis! Okay, what can I wish for? Let me see. Void Snare. Return? No. Underworld Reach we already have. Brotherhood's End. We don't have enough mana for that. Uh, Thomas Cower will be nice next turn. Wow, Brotherhood End will be awesome. I should preordain first, right? Try to find an Untapper. If I find an Untapper, I can go like wish for brotherhood and kill everything and be happy yeah let's do that reordering another wish and a twiddle okay now we are talking i think we may actually i was thinking about now that maybe we have lethal with this this is a lot of mana with another reach so like i go with this Yes, I want to untap it. Now I have five mana, Whis. I have six mana, right? So it's Whis. Underworld Bridge. Yeah, I, th I think we have the win here. So, like, just play Bridge. Play Twiddle. Exile, whatever. Lance. Say yes. Do that again. We can do that like a couple of times. This would be more than enough to win. This is turn four. Our opponent didn't really do anything. But it's not so bad, right? Okay, now we go this. Wish. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And I played this here. So wish lets you it doesn't fetch stuff right like the classical wishes you have to search for you have to search and play the card basically like you play the card from the exile you don't put it in your hand that's why it's like way way worse than the classical wish like burning wish and what have you but on the other hand well it lets, lets you search for anything okay we won we will have like mill our whole deck generate mana and then just find tasas oracle and win mm. Okay, so this seems to be, uh, as mentioned, like Enchantress. So ways to interact with enchantments seem like a, a good starting point. Mm. Do we want... Not, defense rate is not going to do anything. A Lightning Bolt is fine to kill the Mana Dork. A couple Lightning Bolts seem okay. Like, we don't really want to bring so much stuff, right? Because, well, we are a combo deck, but also we have the Whis to search for them. Now I have to take out something. Probably one Underworld Bridge. Like, they're going to have um, a Rest in Peace for sure. So we don't really want to rely on that one. And let's take one Lightning Ball. They don't have that many. Mm, we have seen, like, at least two different creatures we can kill with Lightning Ball. Hmm. 
I'm going to take one and consider out, which is probably wrong, but it's less important to fill our graveyard with it. And it's a, a way worse country, so... Okay, so cantrips, a wish, and a lotus field. <clears throat> I don't know if they play Blood Moon. I know some versions of this deck have played Blood Moon in the past. That would be a pity. I don't think our deck can beat a Blood Moon. <clears throat> Let me play Tolaria Westa here. And we will see Lines Crying for a Boseiju next turn. Like, Boseiju seems awesome. As did this opponent. Suppression fill. Created abilities cost. Two more to activate unless they are mana abilities. So that's good versus the One Ring. And it's very good versus Boseiju, so I'm not going to search for Boseiju here. I'm just going to country. Uh, that seems like a wonderful draw. And just preordain for a bunch of untappers. Wow, that's awesome. We are going to have so much mana next turn. Oh, the cycling. Oh, shoot. This is four mana now. So, yeah. I messed that one up. Okay. <clears throat> Our opponent has a, a good turn here, but they are tapping out. And we are going to have a lot of mana. Right? So, hidden strings. We play Lotus Field, play Hidden Strings, and tap, that's plus one mana. Each Hidden Strings is plus one mana, so it's not that not that much mana, I guess. I guess, I guess, I guess. Uh, we could play Lotus Field here, like Silver Scrying for something, and Lotus Field. That could work, but we may die some next turn or get like locked out of the game. Regretting the Vizier, like this is 4 mana now, yeah, 4 mana. Um, so this, this gives, gets us to 4, we could breach from there, get down to 2, play another one, get up to 3, we are missing one mana to wish for a Thomas Cower and win. So I guess we just search for a land, a normal land that we can play. Even I will say you just in case. No, it has to be like Team Bands. Yeah. And um, I guess I play the Lotus Field. Oh, I didn't realize we were going to have extra lands in our graveyard, right? Oh, I thought our graveyard was less cards. So it would be Preordain, Preordain, Brain Pool, Tolaria, Hidden, Hidden. I, I don't think that's enough. I don't think that, that was enough to win. Oh, Enchant Enchantress Presence. What a card. And Seal of Primordium to kill my Underworld Bridge. Okay. That's annoying. Now, with a second land, Hidden Strings gets a bit better. It's not as good as, good as in Pioneer, right? With the Thespian Stage and all that, but. So then we play like one Thespian stage with Silver Scrying. One Lotus Field. Okay. So let me. Do this and this. Add a bunch of mana. Yes. And yes. And no. Because the other one is the Cypher, right? Yeah. So now we do the same. Yes. And yes. And no. Okay. Now here what we can do. <clears throat> we can play bridge and immediately play another hidden strings. That will leave us with zero mana. The bridge plus the string is zero mana. And the string is plus two mana so we'll be up with six mana which is not enough to wish for anything relevant right what can we wish for nothing really the seal of primordium very annoying can i wish for something relevant now i can wish for void snare 
That would work, I guess. Void Snare Seal of Primordium. And then I have 4 mana to Underworld Bridge. And can play like Hidden Strings, Wish for Thomas Cover. I think, I think this works. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, I think I, I'm, I hope I haven't miscounted. But I think this should do the trick. So they cannot activate the fetch land. Oh, shoot. <laughs> this uh, this is for the seal of primordium too okay well we're fine anyway but i should have realized that okay let me bring up the rabiar i think we are fine one two three done i think we should be fine from here but oh wow i didn't expect that one did they force a vigor with sterling growth okay mm, force of vigor that's a good one okay how do we get out of here I'm going to cycle, get deeper into my deck, search for another underworld reach. So had we had we realized that they couldn't use the seal of primordium, I think we there was a lean, a winning line. Because well we would have had the stramana and all that and I'm pretty sure there was a winning line we missed there. Let's probably just take a land. Now let's take Boseju here. I'm going to go like end step, Boseju, your thing. And try to win. So our opponent has three cards in hand. One is uh, a Seal of Primordium. And they have a million mana, approximately. Your enchantment they play, draws them a card, and this is Blood Moon, we are so done. Yep, yep, messed that one up. Totally. One rest in peace. Okay, okay, okay. We were expecting those. Yeah, how can we play around that stuff? I'm not sure we can. I think we're fine like this. Okay, I would like to play first. Yes. Uh so this doesn't have a lotus field or a way to get one it does have a one ring and an echo in truth those are good cards and we keep this i'm going to keep like i have never played this deck i don't think you should keep this hand but what if you should there's only one way to find out you keep and you learn that's how you learn new decks you keep all the hands you don't touch anything from the list and you play a bunch with it then when you understand the deck and understand how it works well you can start developing changes and heuristics and all that stuff <clears throat> like we have like four lotus field four sylvan crying and any country is going to be good so like that's like many life draws Okay, Utopia Sprawl, that makes sense. Let me get Breeding Pool here. And we'll get an island with Polluted Delta. We are naming White, alright. Okay, Forest. And Sterling Grove, that one is annoying. Basically means you have to interact with that one before interacting with the rest of the enchantments. Of course, that's exactly what it means. I'm going to take an island here. Can we draw um, 
Hmm, not that. So now we are not that far away. Like, if we can get a one ring in play, that's nice. Windswept Heath and Santum Weaver. Okay, they, they are doing their thing. We are not doing ours because. Out. Stony Silence, huh? Wow, it's been a long time since I last saw an Stony Silence. Like a long, long time. Alright. This one is so annoying. Gives the stuff a shroud. So I can we cannot really do anything. We're going to have to go like ends like at some point we are playing the ring here. When we draw a land. And hope that oh we don't have red mana. Shit. That sucks. Drawing that breathing pool. I mean not that we had anything good to get, right? Because as we mentioned, you have to play the thing. You, you had, so you, you can only play Whis the turn you are going to win. I mean, not the, if you are going to f for a like a removal spell or whatever, like but you have to do er everything in the same turn. That's interesting. What are we searching for here? Blue Moon. Blue Moon, actually. <laughs> I mean, the red mana is not going to be so bad for us. Yep, yeah, you can play Blue Moon. That's very acceptable. Can I draw a land? Can I draw a Lotus Field now? No. Porco Dio. Is there anything I can wish for in my cyborg? Not really, right? What do I want to discard here? Probably the whiz, actually. Problem is, we need to deal with the story silence and with the Blood Moon, so that's two permanents. Not good enough, huh? Maybe, maybe I messed up. I should have kept the Wiz in hand. Yeah, I messed up. If I had Wiz with all these lands, I could Wiz for. An underworld reads and win from there. The ooh, another starting roof? Shoot. That one is a problem. That one is a real problem. I don't know how we are winning now. I mean finding land drops is a start. Like I wanted to play like four lands, play a ring, even if we cannot activate it. Just to have it in play, but okay, let's do that. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so we need to kill the Starling Grove, to kill the Blood Moon. Okay, they kill, the, they sacrifice the Starling Grove for us. Sisters, whenever you cast an enchantment, you gain one life and you draw a card. So they just want to go through their deck, right? Peter Aramont. Okay. So again, we need two answers here. Let me cycle that. Here. That's not what I wanted. Did I lose the game? Like a winning game? Maybe. We just have like two Echo in Truth, another Echo in Truth in the deck. That's not a lot. But 
actually with one more mana hmm. We have Otawara and Moseiju, but we can only play one of those. We can only activate Otawara, not Moseiju. So let's keep. I think discarding that wish was a complete crazy move. I, I don't I don't approve of that. You know what? I'm going to hard cast this actually. So we have done that last turn. Oh my god, I'm playing so sloppy. So we have played Vizier of Tomlin Sands. All three of them. Like, they are the extra blue mana I need. What do you have? I think it's, they cannot really miss, right? Destiny Spinner? Oh my god, this one is a problem. This one is a real problem. Like, we are dead, right? I don't think we are winning this game. I I, th I think there was a window with the Wiz where I could have won. I messed that one up, discarding Wiz instead of discarding the One Ring. I got nervous when I started missing land drops. That's on me. I don't think there's any way to get out of this situation. They have like double route, like everything has a route. Yeah, let's concede here. Yeah, I could like mm, mm. this deck, huh? Okay, okay. Focus. Yeah. Focus. Okay, wonderful hand. A lot of cantrips. We like cantrips. Hmm. Pretty sure we, we should have won 3 0. That last round, but that's how we learn. That's how we learn. I always say this: we learn by doing, by losing. <clears throat> Jameson Cavern, okay. So rhinos, I guess. Uh, looks like it. Okay, so. I'm gonna really win before turn 3 But we can actually win turn 3 easy. Ooh. What is this? Magic Online Leagues are always some, quite something I already have 2 untappers in hand And they are not worth much without the Lotus So let's just dig for it Perfect. Perfection. Okay, now we want the underworld reads. Mm -hmm. Is this amulet titan playing Genstorm Cavern? Is that what this is? Yep, that's what this is. With no Stalandrops? Okay, friend. Oh, second main. Okay, you got it. Can we win this turn? I think so. Depending on what we find. But we may be able to win this turn. We don't want that one. Okay. That sounds like a win to me. This is going to be so much fun. Yes, Lotus Field. Cycle this, untap this. Brazil. Do it again. I think with the Wiz, this should be deterministic. Wow, with that, it for sure is. Untap. This is like a basile of mana, you know. Ok, 
Okay, get underworld reads and play it. Have a lot of mana floating, and now we just go like and tap this, get more mana. This was like a very easy one. Like, don't have to think or anything, just combo. I can even get the Tom Scour now. Like, it doesn't really matter. Whoa. Let's pay with the red man. <laughs> Steamens. Uh, Bissier, Bissier. The Tom Scour. You, you have to do this with one mana floating since you have to play the Tom Scour directly. So, perfect. And we found the Tassas Oracle. And now just untap this, exile whatever three cards, doesn't really matter now. We just have to make a bunch of mana, then deck, deck ourselves for a bunch. <laughs> this is the second time today I play with. <laughs> I played Dredge this morning with Thomas Cower, and now again? It's so weird. Let's. Not exile our Tassas Oracle, that wouldn't be wise. And this is like we have a million ways to kill from here. We could get at some point, we could get Wish for Grape Shot, that will win. Even like a big enough uh, Aove, I don't know the name, would work. I think the Tassas Oracle line is just the easiest. It's just a bit boring all the clicking. But you get the idea, right? Let's cover myself, exiling Wish, consider and over it. Done. Our opponent can they probably go when get a to get a coffee or something, which is what you should do, but they can also concede, they have seen everything. We can misclick at any point, of course, so that wouldn't be great on our part. Mm, and our reads this year. How to feel? Yes, I want to untap that. And do it all again. I think this one is better. And tap like this. Here strings, lightning ball, whiz. Okay, so we have 18 cards left in our deck. We just go for all of them. We could get at this point, as I mentioned, we can go wish for we could untap, add red mana, and wish for um grip shot, but it doesn't really matter. Let's just that's a oracle here. Like this is completely deterministic. It was deterministic a long time ago. And this is turn three. This is pretty impressive. That a deck can do this uninterrupted? Yeah. That was impressive. I'm, I'm impressed. Like, Twiddle Storm has always been there, right? Like, in the margin of the playability. Okay, Lightning Bolt are not good. Here, let's bring Echo. Yeah, I don't think this is the matchup for Defense Raid. Right? Like, Defense Raid has to be against, like, Rhinos. They are going to have um, Force of Vigor, we will just be conscious of that and play around it the best we can. I think this hand is not so great, especially because like, it's a bit slow. I will get there, probably. It's probably going to get there a bit late, considering we are, we are playing versus Amulet Titan. So it's kind of a race. Wow. That's basically double amulet. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, 
this is like any Fetzland gave us Silvan's Crying for for Lotus, so that was well, wasn't so crazy, right? Mm hmm Okay. They have a wood star but not a broken star. Which would have involved a Dryad or something like that. Or an Athusa. Green pool. Say yes, it was fine. I do miss. Maybe this deck should play one Thespian state. Because we are playing the full. Like, the, all, all of the hidden strings, and they are a lot better when you can. I guess hidden strings, the idea in this deck is just like untap Lotus, untap One Ring, draw five cards, add mana, right? I guess that's the whole point. Rather than be untap two lotus, generate four mana. Okay. Do we have a land drop? I imagine. If they don't have a land drop, I mean, that would make me happy. Mm. If we get another untapper, we can go like lotus field, untap, untap the one ring. And that isn't bad. But maybe we will be dead by then. We are using a Spedition map for Boseiju, I guess. This is the classic, like, oh, Tolaria. Okay, so they didn't have the, the Titan. Okay. Let me, let me try. Please, 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 please. Untap, untap, untap. Alright. I think we are just playing the one ring. It's really hard to die versus amulet when you have a one ring in game. Like the protection, of course. And once we untap with it, we should be very, very fine. So I'm just playing it. And saying go here. Well, drawing, of course. Like now, even like they can Titan, they can do a bunch of stuff, but they cannot kill us. So I think this is very fine. And we find a hidden strings now. It's like, as we mentioned, right? The one ring, draw, untap both permanents, draw again. I'm scared about Force of Vigor, so I don't really want to uh, play an Underworld Bridge unless I can win through a Force of Vigor. That's my only concern right now. Let's see what our opponent does. Wow. They were like Ursa Saga Go. That's crazy. Take one damage. Yes, I'm willing to take one damage. I guess like they had to go all in and going all in versus the ring is not great as we mentioned. Okay. Echo in truth, wonderful draw. Let's draw with the ring first of all. First and foremost. Like Azusa, you know, the foremost. Let's cycle a bit because we may find a win <clears throat> this turn and that would be awesome. But if we don't, Echo in truth, those amulets can really mess stuff up for our opponent. Mm -mm -mm. What do you have? Ooh, nice. Just how we drew it up. This deck, I'm liking this deck. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't upload this video and save this as a secret text for Ghent. Any deck that can activate the One Ring more than once in a turn, yeah, I'm going to like that one. Add my silly little mana with my silly little rituals. Mm -mm -mm. 
<clears throat> Our opponent could like f6, but they probably have something, so they cannot. Which is a bit annoying, truth be told. Let's preordain first before deciding what we want to untap. Mm. <laughs> Funny thing, like we have taken a lot of game actions, but this is the second spell we put on the stack. So it's not like, hey, we are close to to winning or anything, like, we're actually far away from winning. I think we don't want the second wish, but we're fine with the first and the world bridge. Now we untap this. So what we're going to do is we're going to play bridge. And immediately, so we we get the priority. Right, that's the whole point here. So even if they can kill the bridge, we are going to get uh, hidden strings for Lotus Field and four cards from the One Ring. And then we have Whis for extra mana. So yeah, I think I think we are fine. <laughs> one, two, three. And this is all assuming they have Force of Vigor or Boseju or one way to or any way to interact. If they don't, well, we win. I think we win regardless, but Endurance, sure, that's fine. Oh, this is a, this, oh, this is an instant. Oh my God, I didn't know that. This is awesome. Oh my god, that explains why we are playing more of these and less twiddles. Yep. Okay. Let me do it again. One, two, three. Okay, you can resolve your endurance now. Oh, no, 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 I have to add mana before hidden string resolves. So, what did they exile? They exile summon spot. Okay, let me do like this. You can now resolve that trigger. Yeah. This was mildly annoying, but not really annoying at all. Because now we are throwing four cards. <laughs> the one ring, ladies and gentlemen. What a broken card. That was a whole lot of lands. Let me start filling my graveyard up. I don't care what it is. I mean, this one I keep on top. It's better to keep it on top than to play it. Because we, it represents so many cards. Wow. We are going to play it as a Soracle from our hand because we are going to draw our whole deck with the ring. This is my prediction. I don't know if it is true, but it's what I am predicting. This is too much mana. Please, opponent, give up already. Just give up. They don't have to. Eh? Always remember, you are, you are allowed to concede, but you don't have to concede. Okay, what else is this? <laughs> okay, they concede. Wow, what a powerful deck. I think we should have won round one, but we are learning and we are totally going to win the rest of them. Okay. Um, more or less same idea as before, any green mana source, so any fetch land is going to allow us to cycle, to use silver scrying, so we're fine. We could even transmute to Laria West, that seems so slow. Dreads, huh? Yeah, 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 everybody's playing Dreads nowadays. So I have to play this one because, well, I really want to find green mana. So Dreads should be f a fine matchup since we are a bit faster, but I mean, it's not going to be easy, that's for sure. But we're going to go like turn three, the one ring, get protection. Problem is, um, they get over the protection with very easily. Oh, nice. In that case, I'm, I don't have to silver scrying. I will cycle this. The, the best part about not having to Sylvan Scrying is that I don't want to take the 3 damage. 
that comes with that play. So now we search for an island. They, they have a very good, like, yeah, they played a silver, silver smoke goal, but they didn't really do anything else. So that's a good start, but not a broken start. Had they had a, a turn to Cathartic Reunion, that would have been awesome. Uh, I uploaded already a Dredge video this week, so if you want to learn how the deck works, go we'll check that out. I, I, I did this, but it's not gonna be a video here, because I'm not going to remember to put the video there. And it, if it is, well, just check it out. Narcomiva... Okay, so the problem is they have a bunch of Creeping Chills in their deck, and as I mentioned, Creeping Chill avoids the ring protection. So usually you will play the ring and then untap and win, but with Creeping Chill, who knows? Because they have already exiled one, and they may have they have all the rest in the deck. So we may be dead next turn even with the ring protection. So let's see what happens. We are of course going to try to win in our turn three, but it may be way too slow. Because we need <clears throat> too much stuff. I guess that's good enough, right? To keep. Like, it's better to keep it and cycle it than not, because it's extra mana. So, yeah. Okay, Wish is a start. Wish is more, most certainly a start. It's a, a bit annoying sometimes that you can only add one color of mana with the Lotus Field. So you really have to think about, like, if you want to play... Your untappers are all blue mana, right? But then, if you want to play your Whis or whatever, or what have you... Okay, I think this may be enough to win. I don't know, like, I don't know the math, right? That Like, how much is enough? But this seems like enough to me. Like, this is a lot of mana. Now we play Whis. With seven mana... Yeah, we have enough, I think. I think this would be enough. Let's find out, shall we? The Underworld Bridge, two blue mana floating. Yeah, I think this is enough. One, two, three. Done. We have already talked about this, but we need one more mana for this to work. So one, Two, three. Done. Are we missing one card in our graveyard for this to work? Maybe. Ah. So I could wish here. But if I wish, I have no more cards left. Is there anything good I could wish for that will avoid well dying? I mean, we can wish for Thomas Cower and just Thomas Cower advance, right? That, that should work. Yeah. Like, it's not deterministic because we may not find another another ritual. But that's fine if that happens. I mean, we die if that happens, of course, but I think it's fine. Thomas Cower ourselves. We just need to find a ritual here. We found a three. Okay, we found one. Yeah, we did. One, two, three. And this is enough. Now it's deterministic. We have seen this before. So feel free to jump ahead a couple of. like a minute or so. It's just like. It feels like you are just doing enough, but it's more than enough. So here we Thomas cover ourselves with Lightning Ball, Vizier, Underworld Bridge. This is another turn 3 kill. This is very impressive. Very, very impressive, I must say. One, two, three. 
just as before, we can we could wish for Grape Shot or we are going just to win with Tassas Oracle to show our opponent who's the real graveyard deck here. Hidden Strings, Preordain, Wish. Just so slow. So painfully slow. Like this, in real life, you could demonstrate a loop because this is a loop. We are just generating extra cards and extra mana all the time. The only, as mentioned, the only way to mess up is to misclick, which we are really trying not to do. But just like the math just adds up, right? This, this, and this. Perfect. And now, with the last three mana, we just win. Thomas Cower ourselves. We consider this year strings. Mill the last five cards, and now with the Sasora call for the win. Wow, I'm I'm thoroughly impressed with this deck. This was a very easy turn three win. Like our opponent just played. They were like, hey, I'm killing you on turn four. And we were like, do I care, bro? Like, no, I don't. Uh, Lightning Ball does literally nothing. We could take this. Like, if they play, they put a board like that one, we could technically wipe it away and try to win like that. Is that better than Echo in truth? No, I'm going to. What if they play. So. This is probably Sodex decklist from the challenge, but they may they may have a ley line of the void. Sodex didn't have any. I didn't have any when I played the list, but they may. So yeah, well, I mean, if they have it, it's not in their starting hand. <laughs> Do I want to pay life to cycle lonely sandbar? Maybe I do. Let, let's pop up, pop the graveyard out. Ooh, this deck gets my brain juice flowing. The problem with this deck is the problem with many of these decks that it gets deterministic at some point, right? So when you get to that point, it's just boring because you're winning. Like it's deterministic, you are winning. You cannot lose from there. But your opponent doesn't have to concede. So in paper, with this deck, you could say, hey, I'm putting five extra cards. I, I add three mana, use blue blue to put ten extra cards using six, so I have plus four cards. So I replay the other one and it's plus one card and neutral on mana, right? I've milled my whole deck and win. You could say that in paper. But here you cannot. So for me it gets it's like when playing a control deck, like one you have stabilized and you know you cannot lose. It's just that I don't care about it anymore. I just want the game to be over. Like, what is fun is to solve the puzzle until you know you can win. And then, well, let's just do not mess up or whatever. Okay, this is start by our opponent is a bit weaker than the one they had the other game. But since we are not interacting with the graveyard, they can they can kill us at any moment. Uh, we are keeping under our reach, that's for sure. Uh, let me consider first, see what we find. Yeah, I don't want that. I want that, but... I'm going to cycle here so I can just like F8. <coughs> F8 and forget about everything. So we have a pretty nice graveyard going on. Ooh, the One Ring. That's also nice. Super cool that Lotus Field refills your graveyard for Underworld Reach with the sacrificing of the lands and all that. 
So what are we doing, opponent? We are otherworldly racing in our upkeep because no, they have no dredgers. That's the word I was going for. And they found no dredgers. Okay, we are doing fine then. This is this a Thotsis? Thotsis is like annoying, like medium annoying. Okay, so we are not going to win game turn 3, especially with that Thotsis, but we're also not losing, so... Uh, let me... I'm going to play the one ring here, pretty sure that's correct. Like, we are not that far away from losing, from dying. We are not that close either to dying, I guess. Choose another target permanent. That one. Yes. No. No. Okay. I think playing the one ring here is worth it. We just want to find stuff. Use here and Yes. And like the mana will be the same next turn. But the one ring is better if we play now. <laughs> because it's an extra turn off. Like an extra activation. And this is not like one extra card, like, like when you, oh, I, I want to play my Teferi early, so I can draw one more. It's not like, next turn is two more, and so on, so on. Which is pretty cool. Now we don't take any damage. They're still setting up, so let's see what they do. Wow, hard cast price amalgam. That's not the scariest. It's lethal, right? Like, don't, don't get me wrong. That's lethal. 3 and 3, 6 and 1, 7. Okay, let me draw. Okay, this should be more than enough. But let's... Haven't done the math. But I do believe this is more than enough. Just get a feel for it, right? Like, as mentioned, I haven't played this much. Or ever. <laughs> actually, actually, I have never played this deck. Never. Interesting. Whis here, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. Let me take some damage. And we know how broken Hidden Strings is when you have a Wandering in play. We have seen that before, so I hope our opponent, well, our opponent hasn't seen that one before, I guess, because they haven't watched the video yet. Yeah! Wow! 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 Wow, this deck is so powerful! I'm feeling I'm feeling the power! I'm feeling the power. <laughs> that opponent's na name is Magnesio, that's awesome. Uh, this is like a super good hand. We are just missing like a draw spell. But interaction. Sylvan Scrying is what what we don't want, but but it can be like interaction, right? Get Otawara, get get Boseyu. Opponent Mulligans to 5, so it could be another Dredge, it could be another Amulet Titan, it could be Throne, or it could be uh, an unlucky draw, of course. Thagoth Triumph. What is that? Uh, let me Steam Bands and um, Preordain. They're going to think we are Murtite, but we are not Murtite. Uh, Whis seems alright. And Boseyu seems unnecessary. Totally going to make them think we are more tight. Twiddle is also an instant? Oh, oh. So much better than I thought. Ah, I'm, I'm falling in love with this deck. I, I need to lose like badly because against the Enchantress deck, well, we kind of lost ourselves, right? Like, we could have won that one. Ooh, is this Thor? Five color Thor? Two? So, <coughs> remember that Poseidon we didn't need? <laughs> yeah, let, let me go for it. This is the one, like, if this is paper magic, like, I will go take my deck and, and go, like, take this one. Thank you. Do I have to shuffle? <laughs> oh my god, Chalice of the Void main deck. In a four color deck, I guess. So this is like four color control, probably. 
five color technically because of leyline binding my opponent said I didn't see that coming <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> I guess we should kill that chalice. I mean, what are we going to do? Not kill it? <laughs> we need to. So, yeah. <clears throat> Four color control. That's nice. Let's play Lotus Field. Yeah, they were totally thinking we were Murtite. That's why they played the chalice on one. But it's actually very good against us. <laughs> now let's hope we don't... That's the thing with this kind of decks, right? Like, what are they going to do? Play an Omnath? Wow, that's scary and all. But that's not that scary. Like, it's a good card, but it's not a scary card. And the interaction is usually basically creature removal. And we, again, we don't really care about creature removal. The only thing we are going to care about is Leyland Mining on our Underworld Bridge. Hey, don't, me, don't get me wrong, what they are doing is very powerful. But it's powerful in a fair way. As fair as Omnath is, I guess. Let's... Let, let's think. Do we want to... Like, Twiddle is plus two mana, right? So we have five mana, six mana with the island. We could Guis. So we can Lotus Field. Twiddle, five mana. Guis. For Underworld Reach. Plate. And then we can Twiddle again. Two more times. Going up to 4 mana in total right? just because we will be down to 1 play Twitter and tap half 3 mm, 2, 3, no 5 mana in total 5 mana after those 5 mana I, I'm imagining there's going to be a thing here from there them we could wait, like there's no rush, there's no need to rush here. We could totally go like, hey, preordain, and keep going from there. That's maybe an option. Ooh, ooh, do I want to try this one? This is not good enough, right? Because like I go, okay, let's, let's try, let's try. And tap this. So this may actually work. Whis. And the world reads. With all this one, two, three. No, I'm missing mana. What, what, what was I was what was I thinking about? I'm missing mana here. Yeah, they have and they have the ley line mining. But I'm I'm missing I'm just missing mana. Yeah. Uh that that wasn't well thought out, right? I, I, I don't know what I miscounted in my head like I wanted to play like the Aove thing that doesn't really work so yeah that wasn't great let me cycle this and we find another thing okay this is another thing I guess we need more untappers we don't have more So here, if I add 3 mana, 
I have just enough. I have just enough to void snare that. Play Twiddle again. Spearden, Vizier, and Sylvan. Yes, use it. I have six cards, so I can twiddle again. One, is twiddle better than? It's the same, right? Twiddle is one mana. Let me. It's the same, right? Like twiddle is plus two mana because I I use one to get three. And with the other one, I used two to get four, so it's the same. Right. Yeah. Preordain. Whis. Not preordain. Let's go with hidden void as now. Yes, I want to use this. Now we whis. I don't have enough mana to whis. I have five mana. Five mana. Let's see, I'm missing something. I'm missing. Mm. I'm missing one card in my graveyard. I messed up. I think I messed up at some point. I don't know which point, but I messed up. I messed up the counting. Yeah, I messed up the counting. So I can lightning bolt. And then I can either wish or I can preordain. If I wish, I am out of mana. If I twiddle, I get nowhere. If I preordain, I may do something. I really messed up this one. Yep. So I try to Thomas Cower myself and find another Underworld Bridge in two turns or so, which is more or less the, the amount of time we have here. I miscounted completely. I, I, I didn't map this out correctly. That's four. Hmm. Can preordain, see what happens. But losing access to Wiz and all that, that doesn't sound great. This deck is annoyingly hard. Maybe I'm making it annoyingly hard by misplaying all the time. I guess I have to Wiz and f fill my graveyard. I think that's the best, the best option here. Yeah, we're missing cards in the in the graveyard basically. And Thomas Cower myself and we are done. Oh and we mill an underworld bridge? I don't like that. Oof that turn I have no idea what I was doing. My brain is hurting right now. So the easy kills on turn three we have figured them out. But this, like, I didn't have to do any of this. I could have, like, just, I don't know, just played my turn normally. There was no need to do anything of all that. Mm, yeah. That's, again, we learn. Let me just fetch a land here. I think just a regular land works. Like I could take Tolaria, not really, don't really know what for. I could take Lonely Sambar to cycle and get deeper into my deck, but I think just regular mana is going to be good. So the problem is now we know they have the under the answer for the underworld bridge. 
So we kind of need to play around it. And we cannot do it. Well, we can do it playing one one of the bridges from our graveyard. That was a classic play. Okay, we have to win next turn because they can use the fetch lands to deal us th four damage with Omnath. So we have to go for the win. That means we need to draw something good here. What is good? I have no idea. Okay, uh, one ring would be a great draw actually, at least, as it usually is. I hate when I mess up. <laughs> ah, okay, let's recover. That's what's most important here. What are we doing, opponent? We are hardcasting Elesnorn. Interesting. And dealing a lot of damage to us. Just four. Okay, Elesnorn. I like that card a lot. And Renan 6. Do we have another Renan? Another two Renan 6s? Only one. They have two cards in hand. One is Leila Mining. Do they have another one? Uh, Renan and six, so we are dead this turn. No, we need more mana to do anything. Cycler, underworld bridge. We got an underworld bridge, but we do not have an untapper in our graveyard. So that's a problem. I messed up completely. I had no reason to do what I did. Sorry. Mm. Yeah, nope, no win here. Because I messed up, as I said. Oh, wow. Oh, those were wood. Uh, okay, no lightning balls because they do nothing. Probably defense read, right? They are bringing, they should bring like Force of Negation, Dobbins Veto, those, those kind of cards. So let's just bring a bunch of defense reads so we don't die to random interaction. Take out a country and um... yeah, a couple of countries. Because even like with defense read, we cannot even play consider end step or anything. Okay, let's not not mess up this this time. Keeping the one lander here, like a boss. One land preordain is just like you are going to see so many cards. And we have all the other stuff we need, right? Like the this for the Lotus, Visier for the untapping, Underworld Bridge for Underworld Bridge stuff. Let's just not mess up again. That's all I am asking. Opponent is Mulligan into five again. So always when you're playing a combo deck, you should one of the hardest skill to acquire because it requires knowledge of your own deck and your opponents but it's basically to to know when to go for it right like should you go for it now are you going to die next turn and you should always try to go for it at the last possible moment when you have the most resources and the most information so that includes uh, stuff like well, I'm dead next turn, I, I should do it now. Uh, next turn my opponent is going to drop uh, whatever hate piece that's going to destroy me, I should go for it now, that kind of stuff. So this matchup is not about racing, because our opponent is slow, and I'm missing 
I said that last game and then I didn't listen to my own advice. Classic me. I mean, if we get enough untappers, we can win next turn. We need like um one, I think. One would be fine. Tell me and just playing Lotus Field and saying go. We can also play like Breeding Pool and say go. Yeah. Let's do that. Like there's no rush. Our opponent is probably keeping the wins better mana up. So there's no reason to rush here. And they may play Alpine Moon, that's why I don't want to play the Lotus Field. Okay. Uh, they may be half endurance too. Not hard cast right now because they don't have double green, but like in their deck, you know. They could have endurance. So they have multi five and they didn't have a grand six here. So they may, they may miss land drops at some point. Cards interactive cards they can have uh, include different forces, negation or vigor. Uh, Dobbins Vito or similar counter spell. That one is annoying, that's for sure. Our hand is not, doesn't really care about it, I guess, but annoying it is. So now, for example, it's not a bad time to go for it because they don't have enough. Interaction up. Oh, let me do this. Play Lotus Field and tap it. Again, I'm doing this like this because I'm a moron. So just wait. Like there's no rush. Okay. They cannot really interact with Otawara, so there's, we will just go like end step, Otawara, your chalice, and try to win from there. It's the same, having to, to waste that this year, but there wasn't really a, a chance to do otherwise. Okay, so end step, Otawara, consider, and we are going to have so a lot of mana next turn, try to win. As mentioned, like, they cannot even do in bet of this. One of the craziest things about Otawara and Boseju and the lands is, like, so hard to interact with them, like, you need, like, to give hexproof to your thing or something. Okay, we consider here. Uh, I don't think we want the Sylvan Scry now. Another Lotus Field. That's a lot of mana with the hidden strings. So I guess I will try and resolve one. They're probably going to have a counter here. And that would be most annoying. Oh, shoot. I didn't leave double blue up for Tolaria West. Just funny to me, like, usually when I play, like, Stormy Vintage Cube or something like that, or like Old Storm. I have a feeling of what the storm count is based on how many actions I have taken. I like, so I go in my head like, I have done this and that and that. But now he's like Storm 1 and I have taken so many clicks already. So what can we search for? We have 9 mana. We play Underworld Bridge, we have the counter it, we have 7 mana. We can play 
quiz for another one. I guess that's the right play. They have to have a counter. They could have endurance, I guess. Yeah, Vito. Okay, Vito makes sense. Now, seven mana. If we had eight, we could go for a heavy, but we don't. So, kind of have to try to resolve Whis into Underworld Reach and win from there. They don't have another Vito up, so let's see. Double Bridge, Blade, this resolves, we are in a great spot, they can have, now they can have, uh, I will say it, they can have a Leyline Binding now, that would be most annoying, but it seems they don't, and if they don't, we just win. I'm not not opposed to winning games on Magic the Gathering. If they haven't interacted yet, I imagine it's because they have nothing. If they have something and they are just like waiting, well, props to them because I'm not playing around it. Like this kind of matchup should be like very good, and they even move to five. Yes, yes. No. This is a lot of mana. <laughs> this is of course like the the Lotus field from Pioneer. Uh, calculations on mana, mana wise. Uh, here I'm just like if they had endurance, they would have played it, I guess. But I'm kind of scared about endurance. We could go for a for a Eve. They're not going to have like an answer for it. Uh, I could wish for Thomas Cower and go for the kill. If I wish for Thomas Cower, I win. But what if they are they have an endurance in hand? They are not. They are saving for any reason at all. I really want to play the Eve. I'm going to consider here. Just see a bunch of cards. That works, right? Okay. Okay, now we should go for the deterministic kill. Boring and exciting. Deterministic kill. But it is what it is. We should do that. Have done this a lot in the past. But it's still what is right, I guess. Because now they cannot interact with the defense grid, so. I just was trying to think what can they have that's worth playing around and it's only the endurance but I'm pretty sure they, they will have played it by now of course but who knows like people do weird stuff so that's why I didn't want to take it for granted Mm. Ah, what? One, two, three. Okay, 
done. Yep. Okay. Slow and steady wins the race. Come on, Magic Online, you can do this. Thank you. So many clicks. This is so fun clicking so much. I just love the, the Thomas Cower technology. It's just so fun. I, I I legit think that one is for true fun. It's not like I irony ironic or anything. Okay, now we pass a solar call and we win. Got it. Okay, so as expected, they have like a bunch of counter spells and they move to five. So, but also, like, they have so many bad cards, they cannot take all of them out. Wonderful hand. The only thing we don't have is a way to interact with their hate, but we're fine. Okay, uh, opponent just went like land go. We're going to preordain. I love preordain. What a wonderful card. All these decks are fine. Imagine if we had like actual ponder or brainstorm, right? Like the, the real, real winners in the country war. Mm, this is better, I think. So, our opponent knows we cannot win before turn 3. It looks so great today. Like, there's no wood light. Mm, eh, this is better. Uh, yeah, we're just going to cantrip avant. I think this is better. Nope, nope, nope. This. Equilibrium. Like this. Mm-mm-mm. Just waiting, waiting for the Ferry Time Traveler. I mean, I, I will interact before the Ferry Time Traveler. Uh, we just want like a bunch of untappers and another World Bridge. They may have they may have uh, endurance, right? That's why they tap out. Because we, we do have a turn 3 kill. Not in our hands, but like the deck has a turn 3 kill, a consistent one. We have seen that throughout this league. I took out two considers, and now we have, <laughs> we have both of them in hand. That's, that's so fun. That's funny. You cannot make this sit up. Uh, consider we need... A one ring would be very nice. I think just draw a bunt. Let me draw, let me draw, let me draw. Defense red? That works for me. Let's see what they do with Teferi. If they go up, eh? but if they go down, we will play that defense rate, I think. They can always have like Leyline Binding on their turn for the defense rate, but I'm willing to take that risk, I guess. Let's see what we get. Just a land. You know what? I'm going to play defense rate. I will let them bounce it with the ferry. That's fine. We need more stuff in our hands. We need more time. So let's wait. Let's play. Let's be patient. Let's be the opposite of what we were game one. And we lost because of that, so let's do the opposite. Okay, bounce that, that's fine. Let 
thing is like they cannot really tap out knowing we have defense read right because we can start our turn going like defense read stack and you die but if we are if they have the mana open well they can at least do something i guess we don't really have any play any good plays here let's play this and get what are we going to get tawara yeah i guess we are going to get like otawara and Boseju and keep waiting playing the waiting game versus our opponent who wins wow i only have five minutes le five minutes left in my clock usually the combo decks wins this kind of um matchups in where you are like just looking at each other because we can find a perfect hand right that's like i'm going to beat you with this hand uh you can <laughs> to see that you can go watch um uh, gp Prague legacy gp Prague 2016 i think the one that rodrigo togores won and it's a masterclass on how to do that like it was storm versus miracles right and it's like the miracles player was like waiting 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 with all the counter spells in in the world but at some point when you have the perfect seven or eight card hand with a storm you just win i'm afraid that if we try to combo i won't have enough clock which is annoying but like i have tried to play fast but it's a lot of clicking Ooh, I... and also i was snagging when we started the in the game so i started late our opponent is thinking i think they have endurance that's why they tapped out when they played the fairy and they're thinking if they should play endurance now to just have a clock uh, that's my reasoning it may not be anchored in reality okay hey, we have a lot of mana and nothing to do with it <laughs> so we are just passing the turn here i could have played the vizier to have it in play but i just think we need to cycle it to find stuff 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 so this is so this is basically the ritual and this is Piretic ritual and this can be the piretic ritual it or it can be it can be up to four mana so it can be almost like cabal ritual hidden strings is a hard card to evaluate wow well, i was worried about my clock but at, at this pace it's going to be my opponent the one that should be worried Okay, there's the endurance. There's a clock. Now we don't have forever. We have an actual factual clock we have to beat. That's always a problem. Like it's easier to play without a clock. Um, I don't think I want to do anything with my lands. Just wait. untapped okay like of course we don't kill via damage until we go like random grape shot to the face and kill you so i'm pretty sure like i'm not cyborging correctly like maybe you are supposed to have like more of the cyborg stuff in into your deck but i have no idea i haven't played enough and I find it hard to, yeah, let's take out, like maybe against a creature deck, like Jaumoth, you, you want to bring in, of course, the Lightning Bolts, but also like the Grape Shot as a um, extra removal. Okay, we can take three for a couple of turns. I'm just scared about Omnath or something. Thing is, like, if they play like Elesnorn, we can bounce it and step, and it's not a great card. Surprise Endurance uh, or Surprise Solitude to change the clock, but that would be annoying. 
We are getting to a point where defense rate is not going to do much, which is also not great. Still is plus three mana, right? Like it's a lot. You have to pay a lot of extra mana. Especially because hopefully we go in a way that they will need two spells to stop us. And they have to pay three extra mana for each one of those. I mean they don't even have six mana, right? They have six sadly, so that's all the extra mana. That's what I meant to say. They are drawing, okay? Interesting. So they need cards, I guess. Uh, 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 let me grab a breeding pool here. Underworld Bridge. Again, like, yeah, that's awesome. That's a lot of mana, but what are we doing with that mana? So, Wasaju is good versus... Which one do I want to keep in hand? I want to cycle. We have so much mana, I can cycle. I can start by cycling. And see what happens. I really want to play these land drops because they are both useful, of course. Wow. That's like a lot of mana. But we don't need mana, we need action. We need action. Do I even want to play like the Tawara or the Oseju? I think, but I think not. We have so much mana. I, I don't think we. I, I care. What we can do also later is the classic like hidden strings, my thing and your thing, dreams grip, my thing and your thing, and like tap you out. Oh, I. Oh, oh, I didn't realize we we're going to discard face. I was talking so much. Let's give up the defense rate. I was worried about my clock and I just... I still have played the... Otawara? Or the Bosage? I don't know which one. So Bosage is the best answer. Like, if they go Leila and Binding on the bridge, you want to Bosage you that. That's the whole idea. We'll have one more turn. Unless they go like... Grand six here. If they play any other threat, we are in trouble. We just need a draw spell. This deck used to play like ideas unbound, right? Like draw three for blue blue, but then at the end of the turn you have to discard. We will really we could really use one of those right now. So I should have played the Boseju and kept the defense read in hand. Or even play the play the defense read. That would that was the answer probably. Just play the defense read. We have six mana plus a bunch more. <clears throat> One thing that is annoying is that we we just need to if they have a Dobbins Vito, we need to resolve either Underworld Bridge or Whis. So it's not like, hey, we had Tendrils of Agony in our hand. We could go like, Ritual, 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 kill you, right? The classic natural Tendrils. Draw, something good. That's not something good. Okay. Next turn, we have to win. We have, we're flooding out, <laughs> that's for sure. And I'm certain our opponent has at least like, at least a counter spell, right? So we are in a very bad spot. Mm -hmm. Magnesio, what a good name. We should have won game one. 
Now here we are struggling because I decided to lose game one. See? That's my advice for today is do not lose games. Just win. That makes life way easier. Do, 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 do. Can I draw action? That counts. Like that has to count, right? As action. Can they have a Vince Vito? They will counter it. We cannot really stop that from happening. Yeah, I'm just going to play it. The problem is, this is not bait. Like, this is our only action spell. Our only hope is that they think this is bait. They let it resolve. Nice. Now, now what? I'm so sure they have I'm certain they have the Leyland Mining. So let's try to force it. We draw and the Leyland Mining responds with I, and I don't think we are going to have enough clock to click through it. So that's annoying. Without the ferry, we could do like cool stuff with the Twiddle and, and all being instant speed. This is a lot of clicking. Let's pass to our second main phase. See what they do. Yeah, they do nothing. That makes sense. Okay, uh, let's try and draw here. They're going to have that. Which is so annoying. I mean, they have to have something. They have seven cards in hand. We cannot win, like, uh, we don't have the clock to physically click through all of our combo. I'm just going to try to get to a point where it's like, hey, from here we will win. Just need to click faster. <laughs> and my computer is too slow and lags too much, and I'm talking a lot. But I think getting to learn the deck is more important than watching me try to super fast click or whatever. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, so we draw nothing. And now we just go like this and tap this. We're gonna generate a million mana here. Try to get a bridge going. The problem is they have another white mana, they have to have another white mana with that wind sub hit. Okay. If they <clears throat> now they go for the bridge. They go for celestial ports, okay, in the bridge. That's fine. So now the idea would be like we bounce this. 
If they don't have more white mana, we win. I'm pretty sure we win from here without more white mana. If they have more white mana, we don't win. <laughs> but we don't have enough. Ah no, this is tap, target, and untap. Oh no! I thought this let me do the... Mm. I, I thought untwining this let me untap the ring. Okay, so what we will do is use this to draw with the ring. Draw two cards. Let me let me draw. Let me draw. I want to draw. No, come on, my online. It doesn't matter. Okay, let's get the last one. With more clock, I think we, we got this one. But I should have read the the grip. Okay. So let's be more focused, play faster this round and play better. Play better, especially that one. Uh Jaumoth. Okay. This is one of the cool things, right? It, it more or less what happens in with the with the pioneer one. Like I have the lotus field, you cannot thought seize that. Building, yeah. Uh, we don't want another Lotus Field, but we are happy with bits here, so let's draw that. I think this deck is powerful. Like, we are playing so bad and still almost getting there. <laughs> almost. Uh, yeah, this is probably like Black Green Scam. We have played that. <laughs> Last Sunday, I think it was. But there's a video with black green scam in my channel, which is utterly funny to me. Okay, let's cycle only some baggers. Okay, we see her. That's a lot of mana. Our, I don't know if our opponent mulligan. Doesn't really matter. Consider Silver Scrying we don't want. This all this is not going the Tarmogoy because there are already sorceries. Mm -mm. That's a lot of mana. Let me pure in first. We could win here. Yeah, this should be enough, I think. Mm -mm -mm. Again, I haven't counted, okay? There's no time for counting. Counting takes two months. The only problem we may face is if they have like um they could have a way to remove a bridge, like a brute decay, you know? So we don't have enough, right? Wiz for bridge is exalted five. Mm. Yeah, let's play the ring. <laughs> that seems like a, a good solution to our problem. Okay. Of course, uh, insta drawing there was wrong, I guess, because of bow masters, but we have. We have already cycled two cards and they have a bowmaster in response, so let's say they probably don't have bowmasters. Okay, Saga, Saga is wood. Let's take damage here. Ooh, yeah, we like that one. You know, I'm just doing this. This is so much mana and cards. Yes, and yes, and no. Let's draw. Oh my god, this deck is awesome. This is turn 4. And we could have gone for it turn 3 with some extra stuff. As we have done in the past. Mm -mm. So this is tap or untap. And, uh, yeah, I messed that one up last round. Mm -hmm. No 
opponent is just here like waiting for something we could win with the um, I think in this game because like there's no chance our opponent has a way to answer that card like a, a, not that card sadly but the million tokens it generates Do we have a way to kill under our reads? Doesn't seem so. Just drawing my silly little deck. Wow, was it you? Don't worry. Don't worry. It's nothing to worry about. We are just going to add some mana in response. Why? Because it's fun to do stuff while they are trying to kill your underworld rich. <laughs> like, at least extremely fun. We could have drawn more. Like, they gave us the chance to draw more. With, to play another hidden string, sorry. That, that wasn't the wisest, I guess. Ah, uh, let's do it again, sure. Okay. Is this enough mana? I think so. I want to play the Aove thingy, but I don't think it's justifiable to do so. Oh yeah, we have the draw the draw activation on the stack. Let's just do this. Yeah, I want to put a, a bunch of tokens into play, but so I do it. I'm going to do it. I just want to do it. I just want to. You cannot stop me. I will do it. I don't care about anything. I just want to do it. Like, I could kill my opponent, okay? Here. Easily. Could kill them easily. But I don't want to. Because we haven't played the stupid card. And I want to play the stupid card. So let's do it. Yeah, 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 all that is fine. We could combo, we have another bridge, we have everything we want in life. I'm just doing this, I want to do this. I have a progeny to lose. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Look at my uses. Yeah, yeah, worth it. Totally worth it. I... <laughs> Okay, uh, <laughs> I don't know how to cipher. Like, am I supposed to bring Echo in Truth in this matchup? Most probably. But I'm certain Underworld Brotherhood End is good against a Saga deck. <laughs> Do I want to have the Aeve card in my deck? Is that a thing? We want to, ooh, wow. Ah, I don't know. Lightning Ball has to be useful because we need to kill Bowmasters. I think we're just going to take like one card here, one card there, as we usually do. We're even going to take Preordain out because of Bowmasters again. Oh. Yeah, I don't think. I think you just want to search for it, like, yeah, get up to 8 mana, search it, and put 4 of those into play. I'm keeping a hand with the One Ring and Preordain. Also, Mulligan in against Black Green, Tarmogoyf deck? Nah, not me. They mull to 6. Our opponents are Mulligan in a lot. Let's Preordain here before any Bowmaster action. Uh, I don't want this one or that one, I just want my land. Okay, we got that one. I'm liking this deck, I should play it more. The problem is like, it's so annoying to have to click through everything. It's easier to... This is probably the kind of deck you really want to try in paper, directly. Or to play with friends, like, hey, I, I, I this is deterministic conceit and job. Your friend concedes because it's your friend, you know. 
let's consider now that they are tapped out. Uh, I hope I don't die because of putting that Tassas Oracle there, but we are doing that. That's what we are doing today. I will breathing pool because we may find a silver scrying. Another wandering. Another land. Okay, so Tarmo if is a good beater, like the best. It used to be the best. The king. Not anymore. Maybe. No, my ringerino. Oh. Damping sphere is annoying. Like, damping sphere is so good against us. Right? We cannot really do anything against it. Oh, that's so annoying. We did bring the um, Brother Hussein into the deck, so that's an answer. Yeah. Ragaban. Okay, Ragaban is extremely annoying. How do we win from here? I don't know. We're dying. We're at three. Like lightning ball kills us. There's a damping sphere in play. I don't know how are we winning this one. Oh, that was like discard into Tarmo. Like Tarmo discard damping. Sabitin. Yep, we're not winning this one. That was your classic Jan deck, right? Pressure and the Bin Sphere made it so we couldn't get out of there. Okay, so this has to stay in the cyber for sure. Uh I think explosives has to be good. Like kills Tarmo and Sphere and everything. Take out probably a, like a random bit here. Okay, last game. Last game. We have to win because a 3 2 it's fine and a 2 3 sucks. So let's keep this hand with a bunch of can trips and a lotus field. Which, like, usually I would be fine just keeping the lotus field, but oof, dumping sphere is so scary. I guess Dumping Sphere, the same way it's the best card against... Oh, Rawan. 2-1 Rawan? So annoying. Like, extremely. Uh, bottom, bottom. Land. Not a land. I mean, I'm pretty sure this was a keep, regardless, but... Not a land. So Damping Sphere is just so good because it stops your Lotus Field from working at all, but also like doesn't let you well country and stuff, right? Ooh, 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 ooh. We are dying. <laughs> we are dying fast. Okay, we need an answer for that sphere. Oh a sphere makes wish terrible, like a terrible magic car. Oh. Who plays Damping Sphere? Like, what on earth? Please that. Still, I think this deck is so much... Like, this league, we didn't make it... We didn't do it justice, or however it's... Necromancia. You know what? I'm going to consider here, because maybe... Maybe th there's a wall where I find another Lotus Field and if they name Lotus Field and we find another one well I need I need a land 
We get another chuchu. Right? Can we win if they strut our lotus fields? Probably not. Totally. Uh, we may probably not be able to win at all. Like without dumping sphere, like we have to take care of the dumping sphere and we have to find like a weird way to win. It's going to involve like having a bunch of lands in play and going like wish for a grape shot or something like that. Like this is free storm, right? You untap a land, that's plus zero mana, plus one storm. So you go like with a dreams rip, dreams rip, dreams rip. And at some point you just, if you have enough lands, you wish for a grape shot and win. So that's our plan, I guess. It's not a good plan. By any stretch of the imagination. Greased, of course. What a start our opponent had. Did we miss a land drop? I mean, yes. Did it matter? I don't think so. Because we do. They played turn 2 Dumping Sphere. Even if we had our land drop, we are not going to play turn 3 Lotus. And they so they get to do the Necromancia thing either way. <laughs> Another Dust, Draga one. Wow. We are getting destroyed, but wood all done. still feel like we didn't play this deck to the best of our abilities and it's not fair the deck is so much better we felt the power right like at a couple of points there we we really felt the power did you guys feel the power like i did because i totally felt the power It's funny to me that Tolaria West is not legendary. It's weird. Also, like, since it's a land you don't really want to play, why isn't it legendary anyway? You will play the first one, maybe, but then transmute the others, so who cares? Uh, I don't even know if there's a card, a way of getting out of this situation. Pretty sure there isn't. We take one, two, eight? 80 is a lot of damage. That's the monkey. I'm going to tap that Tarmogoyf. So we don't insta die. Mm. So we need to take out that dumping sphere to begin with. And then. Then what? We are not reaching 10, ten storm. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, it's not a thing. So, what is this? They are searching for land? Ursa Saga? Well, oh, not any land. Well, I have to play this. Draw. The Otawara is too expensive. We cannot rely on Otawara to get rid of the dumping sphere. It's way too expensive. But even something like explosives is way too expensive too. I don't know what I need. Probably another ring. This is not stopped by the rain, okay. Let's draw extra cards because without the extra cards we're not winning. Okay, lightning ball does nothing. I mean that's something, but doesn't do enough. Oh, if only. 
the boys they have such a good uh, such a great clock and we're dying to the priest regardless and to our wing we're dying to everything we're dying <laughs> we're just dying I could play explosives track it I will die to Grist and to the tokens. We need another ring. I guess. No, not that it's going. So another ring is like the first step to not dying. If we had Lotus Field here, I think we could win. If one of those lands was a Lotus Field. We go Echoing Truth on Dumping Sphere, then like untap it a bunch and just wish and win. But we cannot win. So let's kill ourselves. No, we have to be two. <laughs> ah! Well, we tried. We truly tried. Wasn't. <sighs> what are you doing, opponent? I'm trying to suicide. Let me suicide. Okay, thanks for watching. This seemed like a very powerful deck and I really want to try it more. I probably will do it in my own time rather than recording, but as I said, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, well, drop a like or a comment. It really helped me to know what you like and to know that there's somebody out there watching this. And well, come tomorrow for another video. I have a daily upload, so if you like it, there will be more. Bye.